All right, today we got a 2012 Volkswagen CCR line with a 2.0 T that has an oil leak. Uh, customer says that he took it somewhere and they told him that he needs a diverter valve for his turbo. So he's brought his own part. We're going to get up underneath here and take a look at it and see what it's going to take to get this thing out of here. All right, here we are up under here on the passenger side. And this right here is our diverter valve. It looks like it's got some oil coming out of it. So I went ahead and pulled the electrical connector off of there already just so I could see if there was anything coming out of the connector. And it is a little bit damp inside of there. So I'm going to go ahead and trying to get this loose it's three bolts that hold it in there I'm not sure what size they are just yet uh, I'll find out in a minute and I'll be back all right looks like I've almost got this thing out of here I'm working on the last bolt just way up top here and these are five millimeter uh, hex head or allen head if you want to call them the two bottom ones are pretty easily accessible but this top one yeah, it's uh, a little bit of a challenge here. All right, here we come. There we go. All right. That is what she looks like. See, it's got some, looks like some shiny wetness inside of that electrical connector. All right, so we're going to get our new one in, and I will be right back. All right, here's our old one here. Here's our new one here. You can see there is a little bit of a difference in the way that it's made. I uh, only used one tool to get this out of here, and that is a 5 millimeter Allen head wrench. And we got three screws here that hold it in. Yeah, the bottom two. Not a bad deal. The top one's a little rough to get to, but it's manageable. So I'm going to get back under here and put a valve back in here and get this thing back together. So I'll be back. All right, my valve is back in there. And all that's left to do is plug our connector back on. And if anybody's interested on how to get these connectors off, it's not that hard. What you need to do is push down on the connector towards the solenoid. And at the same time, you want to lift up this little edge right here and then pull it off. It'll come right off. All right, folks, that should about handle this. And uh, if this helped you out in any way, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll be back with some more. See you on the next one.